can I just say I absolutely love this episode of Bill Fires. This one probably was one of the most emotional ones that we've had. I mean, just finding out a lot of shit in this episode and the fight and it was just, everything was just so freaking good at this. So we find out that Reiji's real name is um, Arya Thorn Reiji Asuna and pretty much that he is the son. He is the son of like from the Prince of Arya. The chairman knows some shady shit going on right now. And he was just going ballistic. He's like saying, I won't forgive you, Isla, for what you did, like that. And the reason why, like, we, because I've been having some questions, like, why, why is she so good? You know, what is that? Why she has to wear that suit? What's it do to her? And what the suit is, is like, because back in the past, she can actually see Plavisky particles. She can actually see the flow of it. And so every time she knows, it's like, oh, well, that Gumpler's going to do that, or it's going to do that. So she already can, like, pretty much predict. And previously, it was like 87% of the time. And using the M body suit, which links in with her brain rays, it pretty much increases it up to its maximum capacity. And I really like just in this episode, it's just how many things, you know, with Ricardo, you know, getting in a fight with Rage, you know, teaching him a lesson, saying, you know, you not to fight with hatred, you just fight with Gunplay because it's your passion. Don't, like, put your emotions into the fight. And the reasons why Isla is doing all this is because she wanted, she wanted to quit. She actually did. She don't like this, actually. It's really getting to her, and she's, um, the reason why she was sort of collapsed and say like, her M-body thing was not working right is because she has, like, a crush on Reiji, and she can't, you know, focus with Reiji there, and just thinking that she does, she's too scared, because she don't want to go to poverty, she has no parents, she has no, like, relatives or anything, and that's why her reason, she's scared, and it seems like, you know, I don't want to hurt Reiji, and I don't want to, like, go back to poverty, and the fight begins, and oh my god, this shit was just going down, it was going quick, it, a little quick with the fight, yeah, like, that's the thing, I thought it was going to be, like, a two-episode fight or something, but I'm fine with it, I, this episode felt like a powerful episode, like, seeing when they went crazy with their, um, going in, she used the M-body suit to the full power, that like, she couldn't help it, and, like, one thing that was interesting, that what Kosaka gave, um, to Isla was this pendant, and it reacted with Reiji's bracelet and alongside the chairman's, um, watch, like, which he called Alistar, and you see that it, it took them to this place as me, um, as Yuki said, or Meijin said that it was the light of heart, and it was like, what is that? Like, what is going on? And pretty much, like Reiji and Isla are in this little alternate, I guess, dimension or some kind, and she's saying, you know, I'm scared, I don't know, and she tells everything to Reiji, saying, well, why don't we just you just live with me? It's just simple as that. And it was just like I really like that that you know these two are understanding and pretty much how the like fight just goes. She turns back to normal. She rips off the freaking like helmet, and it was just so weird because the two were having like a lovers' quarrel. She was like just like pulling her head like that, going back and back and back. <laughs> like just like it was just so weird, and everyone in the stadium was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it was like such a serious fight at first, and then it's turned into this joke and Reggie and say do the build knuckle like that and also as well like guy low as well she was going in for a bit but oh me it was raging say that one and surprisingly like we found out that the necklace is actually safe so maybe that might lead to some plavisky particles like maybe that's the origin of plavisky particles because it was hitting at that because that was from his um i think it was those little um gp bases i think that's what they are so it makes me wonder about the gp bases themselves and i'm guessing that the crystals themselves are like probably from like the I, uh, family or something. It's It's got to be something like that. But other than that, it was a great episode. Really enjoyed it. Next week, we seem to be, like, Yuki seems to be fighting a, another mage or something, which just came out of nowhere. So I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And pretty much, I'm still guessing that this is going to be, like, 24 episodes from how it's going. But, oh, why is it now? Like, we still got, like, a lot of stuff to explain, like, with the Alia family and, like, pretty much a few other things of closure we need um, in the series and maybe a new arc. But... For that, what it was, I mean, the only issue I had was a little bit of the fight, but overall, this was a fantastic episode. One of the favourites I've had, especially on the emotional, how much like, it really gave to I Love, Reiji, and just everyone, and a lot of the stuff happened. So I'll give this one a 9.5 this week. Really entertaining, really good, really enjoyable. Let me think in the conversation below. What do you think of the Reiji versus I Love fight? What did you think of the, the conclusion between it? But that's all for me. I want to thank you very much for watching. Always remember, I'll see you guys.